and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a great card to show you with the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. Now, what I'm really excited by is that this was not an ice cream. Uh, was not ice cream at all. So, um, and, and, I really wanted bright and cheerful. So the colors I have today are Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Granny Apple, and Coastal Cabana. Although, now that I think about it, I'm going to change out my Daffodil Delight for... Gorgeous Grape. <clears throat> because I will be using the daffodil for something else. So, very, almost even feminine. But, I mean, you can change the color combo to anything you like. I just, I just feel like I need super bright and cheerful. So, what you're going to need today is a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock that is eight and uh, no let's see four and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then you're going to come and take this that's my score i always get that wrong i never want to get it wrong because then i cut my paper <clears throat> so I, i'm always checking okay and you are going to score at five and a half or if it had been the other way two and three quarters. So if you gone this way, you can do it either way. All right, then we can set that aside, fold it in half. Oh no, get, get our bone folder. Oh my goodness, that's right in my eyes. All right, <clears throat> and fold that in half. Then I have a piece of Coastal Cabana that is two and a half by four. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. <clears throat> and you can choose either the papers. So this paper comes from the new designer series paper um, for the for the colors. Let me just grab the package here. Let me put that in. My pin back in. So it's <clears throat> it's just from the bright selection of the designer series paper. All right, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take <clears throat> a piece of basic white cardstock that is three and three quarters by two and three fourths, and you're going to put it on your stamping pad. Well, you don't have to. That's all up to you. Um, <clears throat> but with that, let's see, I'm going to take... Why would you run and get the popsicle stick handle? So, what I love about this card is it's like one of those genius cards ideas that I'm gonna just set my other items up here out of the way because I'm gonna get all my ink pads open. What I want to call this is like when you make punch art. I kind of like it when you make stamp art, and I feel like this was a stamp art type card. <clears throat> all right so and then the next thing is over on the side I'm gonna have my chamois open ready to go to be used lots actually my chamois feels like it needs to be uh, rinsed here soon all right so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna ink it up in melon mambo 
and then clean it off. Then I'm going to granny apple green, stamp in, cleaning, uh, coastal cabana, uh, gorgeous grape, <clears throat> and I will repeat until I fill it all up. And this is just a really sweet, simple card, yet I thought it had such an impact when I made, did a mock-up of it. <coughs> and and it was a total surprise when I came out even with all my colors. All right. I am going to set that aside because I'm going to use it again here in a moment. Actually, nope, I'm going to do it now. I lie, since this is out. I'm going to take another piece of basic white cardstock that is five and a quarter by four, and I'm just going to give it some texturing for the side. So I'm just going to repeat what I've just done on this piece. And all I really want to do is just make sure that I clean that stamp every time in between. Which you would think is pretty painful, but it's actually, it's not bad. Um, I, I do have to admit, I was devious about the stamp and chamois, and I think it's one of the best products they've got. just so easy and I just keep it in a case and then I just soak it overnight one night a week because it's getting dry and the color comes out <clears throat> with the exception of my black memento so don't use your black memento use the old stamp and scrub pads and or else <clears throat> Just note that Black Memento is not coming out. All right. All right, that's really cute, sweet texturing. Well, texturing, colorings. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside, and I'm going to bring back my smaller piece of basic white and then I'm gonna get out the candle and I'm gonna make birthday candles oops I need my and I think I'm gonna go with crushed curry and Stamp one, stamp one off. Bright light and a bright and a light. Bright and light. So this weekend I have spent reorganizing my craft room. And this has been a year long project it feels like probably has been. I started maybe maybe right around when COVID started um, because my craft room was a mess. It wasn't working. I moved a couple things. Found out that 
I needed this. People poo-pooed the things. I asked other people's opinions, aka my family, who don't stamp. And they all poo-pooed all the ideas I'd come up with. And in the end, I went with it, with my ideas, kind of thing. And it seems to be working. But more importantly, my craft room is the cleanest it has been since I moved in, or at least since I've had children. So, <clears throat> I, I am just so ecstatic by this. Uh, oh, there's, there's that. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna want is a happy birthday right across the top. And as I've put away all my colors, I'm gonna go with Gorgeous Grape. I'll just go ahead, ink up our pad, or ink up our stamp really well with our pad. And just apply it. All right, that's all nice and clean. All right, so when I originally made this, or cut out all the paper, I thought I was gonna use Daffodil Delight, but then I realized I needed candles and I didn't want Daffodil Delight and the candles, and then I used Crush Curry and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna go cut a piece of the Crush Curry so that everything matches and I'll be right back. All right, I am back with some crushed curry and the ability, hopefully, for us to be able to put this card, finish putting this card together. Okay, I'm just going to put adhesive all, all around the outside and put that panel inside. And then again I've put glue all over that panel like that and then I'm gonna just give it a crazy curl and here all I'm going to do is cover say half not even half like a third of my cardstock so that I don't get more than I need on there And I'll go voila. Then I'm gonna want some embellishments. And I think I'll use my pearls. Except, I mean, ew, pearls. But here's the thing I've got what we call blends. And so I can take my blends in the color I want and get all the pretty colors I want. Another mambo. So I will take, this one's actually Daffodil Delight Dark, because I don't have the crushed curry, but it'll work. And I will color a couple of those. And I do think that there is something quite nice about having the blends, although some, you know, there are some colors being made. It's just, I don't always feel like I can use all of those, whereas I can always use clear rhinestones and, clear, and standard color. And now that you know that you can use a blend and get the color you want, 
just makes it so amazing. Oops. Well, that's what I get. All right. So I've just used my take a pick tool and I'm going to put a glue dot, not a glue dot, a pearl. Oh, I took all the color off of that one, so I'll get another one. I want to put one here and here and then And then one more over he here. And then let's see. Oh, got some of those left on here. Let's give it give it more bling. And then some bling. Obviously, I, oh, I don't know why I'm not using my take a pick tool. It's beyond me. Oh, because I yellow gooped my my goo. That's why. All right. Okay. So when you take your take a pick tool, you squeeze it till some start squeezing out, out, and then you back it off. I'm gonna get rid of that one because it got all yellow goobed. Put one there. And the other thing you find in your craft room are very old rhinestones and pearls and sometimes the adhesive's not working. I mean, let me tell you, I have organized it all. It's all in one bucket, but oh, but hopefully, and I never have to buy a rhinestone again. I have so many. <laughs> this is what I, I determined. But having said that, here is this cute, adorable card. Um, and isn't, isn't it just so great? And who would have thought? that you could make an I a birthday card without ice creams or popsicles from that set. I mean, I'm always astounded by what you can do. And it's just great taking stamping to another level and using your creativity. So if you would like any of these products that I have shared with you today, I'd be grateful for your business. You can find my online store posted below as well as my email address. So email me or make a comment here if you have any questions. And I'd like to thank you so much for watching my video and happy stamping. Oh, P.S. All dimensions and materials used are also at the very bottom of this video. So thank you and bye.